Howdy fixers, so today we're going after the valve covers on the 78 Bronco, I think it's got the 351M modified. So as you can see the gasket here is pooching out and the gasket has been done recently. Um, what happens is this gasket gets over torqued and then the gasket breaks and it pops out. Also can do with the quality of your gasket, sometimes it breaks. Um, so you always want to make sure you find the torque spec and torque at the spec. So here I'm going to zip these bolts out. I do believe they are 3 8 So I'm just going to get them out of here, um, do the whole cover and get all the bolts out. So you can see it's cracked out here and here. This is due to over torquing. Um, it even started to do it up here a little bit. You can see a little crack. Been tightened too much. Maybe it could be the quality of the gasket, but it's usually just over torquing. So we're gonna clean this off and see what we can do. So clean off the surface a little bit. Let this sit. Put some of that weather adhesive off there. And I'll scrub on it here. So here I'm using the buffing wheel to get any residual um, weather stripping gasket that I use to hold the gasket on. Get all that stuff off so that we can get the new gasket into place and stick it down with new stuff. So this is weather stripping adhesive, uh, it's like Permtex. You just make a nice decent bead around where you feel like it's gonna hold the gasket in the place. And then once we get this all smeared around, we're gonna put our gasket on there and just make sure the little holes are lined up. You can see it's nicely even. Then we're gonna get the gasket on there, make sure it's so lined it's up. So on there, we got all the holes lined up. We're gonna go clean our surface on the block, on the head. All right, now that the surface is cleaned off, this is stuck on there pretty good. So this should stay in place once we put it on the head. So let's go do it. All right, so we got it all cleaned back out underneath this. It's really nice when you have two hands, but I'm trying to record it. So. Boop. Get this bottom one down here lined up. So nothing's tight, everything's like finger loose as we're getting everything working in place here. Go see if I can find a torque for this. Probably not, but okay. So what I can find is that it says 50 inch pounds. So I'm gonna torque all these up to 50 inch pounds. Start right here. There's 50 inch pounds. So that's it, fixers. Thanks for watching. Um, I kind of finished it up a little bit there, a little early. Um, so. I just went in the complete servo around until each one was torqued up and then I double checked it again, went around twice, to make sure everything was torqued to the 50 inch pounds. I think that's what I said it was in the video. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions or anything like that, please comment down below. Um, if you would like to see more content, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks are good. Be a fixer, 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 f